Hey what's up, this is Zach King from FinalCutKing.com. I feel like it's been a while since I've recorded a tutorial for you guys. And this is a fun one. It's gonna be how to explode a 3D cube in Cinema 4D. So in this tutorial I'm specifically only gonna show you how to create the, the cube either falling apart or exploding. I'm gonna assume you know a little bit about Cinema 4D. I do have a training course not out just yet, but it's a beginner's guide to Cinema 4D. But if you want that, go over to my Facebook page. The link is right here. Go to facebook.com slash thefinalcutking and just bug me. Write a comment like, hey dude, finish that Cinema 4D course because I want it now. But on with the tutorial for today. I'm going to show you how to explode an object. It can be a box. It can be anything you want using a free plugin called Throwsy. Now I put a link in the description where you can go download this for free. Once you download that, come into your applications. We're going to go down to M, look for the folder called Maxon, and you're going to go to your Cinema 4D file. Once you download the plugin, whether you have version 11.5 or version 12, drag that into your plugins folder, and then drop that folder after you unzip it right in here. So the fo folder will be called Throwsy, and then you're all set to go. So to get started, we are going to create a floor, and we've got a floor in here that was really simple. This is the floor our particles are going to be bouncing on after they explode or collapse. And now I'm just going to create a box, a cube. Lift it up on the floor a little bit. And now we're going to head up to our plugins, come up to your installed Throwsy plugin, and I'm going to break it into 100 pieces. So type 100 in this pieces area, and that's all you need to do, and just hit break. You'll see it renders out here 100 different breaks. So I'm going to play this now, and you can see it sinks into the floor. So I'm going to close the Throwsy window. We're done with that. And to make it stop from sinking the floor, we need to do two things. We need to select our floor, come up here and just right click. We're going to go to MoGraph Tags, Rigid Body. So when you create a rigid body, it is going to hit the floor and collapse. So it's like there's gravity on the cube, the 100 pieces lay out and fall. But now what we want to do is actually control the explosion or have it go a certain direction. And so in my video, you actually saw the scene more from this angle. And a character would be riding here and say, for example, I would hit this box and it would explode to the left. So to do that, you can add any shape, but for me I do a sphere. And basically we want the sphere to keyframe from here to here and it runs through the box. But first we need to select our sphere up here, go to MoGraph Tags, and also create a rigid body. So check this out. I'm just going to have the sphere touching the cube like this. It's kind of in the side of the cube a little bit. If I hit play, it explodes against that sphere. So you can see it's kind of having a resistance to the sphere, which is what we want. So now all we need to do is keyframe, the keyframe button. I'm going to go in about, uh, say, 15 frames. And I'm going to hit keyframe. So there we've got a path for the sphere, and bam, it wax into our sphere, just like that. And you can continue to play with this, adjust the explosion. Uh, maybe we want to start it sooner, keyframe. There's so many different variations to this, but it, it's really fun to actually play around with the camera and, and see the different angles. For, for me, I could just do that for days. So really, that is the basics of creating an exploding cube. So when you render this, you'll select the sphere. You'll go to Visible and Render and turn that off. Um, so basically, that'll look like this here. If I turn it off in the editor, you'll see what that looks like. Just without the sphere, that's how it'll render out. Creating objects as rigid bodies, uh, which is what we did up here in the MoGraph tag, you can see I can do that with anything. I can create a plane. So maybe we have a wall somewhere in our scene that our cube pieces need to hit and reflect off of and find the right place for it. So now if you back up, you'll see they kind of they bounce off that 
Here, let me make it more obvious. See that? They hit the the wall. And so if there's a wall on your scene, you'll select it and make it invisible in both the editor and the render. You really only need it for the render. But there you can see it hits and bounces off. So that's the beginnings of exploding a cube. So again, don't forget to download Throusy in the link below. Um, I'm also giving you this motion project file as it is right now in the download. And don't forget to go to my Facebook page and write me. Just go say, hey, what's up? I just watched your Cinema 4D tutorial and it was boring. And I already knew how to explode a cube. I love hearing from you guys. So I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe right down here to the channel. I'll catch you later.